Hey there, so I'm here today with my son and we've got another installment of our uh, Great Debate video. So what we did this time around is we decided to pick our top five superhero cartoons with the sixth one that didn't quite make the list. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go one for one, uh, going back and forth, and we're probably going to debate it either in this video or in the next video, depending on how this one goes. Yeah. So, you what's your number? Uh, what's my number one? No, no, not number one. We're going to go... Four. Oh, that's right. We want to do the one that didn't make it first? Yeah, and then go into five, four, three, uh, two. The one that didn't make it for me is uh, the Teen Titans show, which a lot of people like, like but undersell a lot. Are you serious? Yeah, it's yours. Teen Titans. Yeah, because like, a lot of people undersell, like, oh, that one like had a lot more like That was a great show. Anime Re stuff. It yeah. did really well with the Judas contract, though. Like, the Judas contract. Oh, yeah. Like it was a really well done show. And, it just uh, barely... It almost made my list. It's, uh, I think, the, do you remember what the last episode is? last episode's really good, too. Yeah. It's a direct follow-up to the Judas uh, contract, and uh, it's, oh, it's really good. Teen Titans was one of my favorites. I love the uh, changing and the opening and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, it was a great show. Uh, the movie's kind of fun, too. There's now a new Teen Titans show. Teen Titans Go. I haven't which watched I'm... that much. It's okay. Uh, but, okay. So, number five, you go first. Uh, should we go from five to one? Five to one, two to one, but to keep, leave the best one for us. Okay, I didn't do it like that, but... Do them in order. We do, we do them in the order that you want the best one. Uh, yeah, this, this will, like, work well enough. Uh, you want to leave your best for last. All right, then I'll use my, like, technically least best, but still really good. Oh, they're all going to be good. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. I love the Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, I don't remember, I didn't watch too much of the second season. I heard that was really good, too. But the first season specifically was amazing. The uh, the way that the Venom storyline like pans out. I, I like uh, that. I think it's there are a couple weak episodes in the, in the first season. I don't know. I think that uh, but overall, overall it, was good. it was really good. And it's the only place that the uh, symbiote storyline has ever really panned out like really well across like multiple episodes and like. So I want to know what my number five is sure. Ruby Spears Superman series. I thought about putting that on there, but I was like, I... Fantastic version of Superman. So well done. The best part of it had to be those those last few minutes where you got to see, you know, the kind of like the private life of Clark Kent as from baby to to high school student right up to college. That just some really cool stuff. Uh, fantastic show. Ruby Spears set the, set the bar for uh, the superhero shows. Kind of like made them a little bit more adult. And it was the first time we got to see Lex Luthor as Lexus would be seen today. Yeah. So that, that is, you know. Yeah, it's a good one. one. Number four? Number four. Uh, number four for me will be Young Justice. I'm a huge Young Justice fan. Uh, it was... It's what... Uh, it's what all the like following DC shows should have been. Afterwards, I wasn't as big a fan of Beware the Batman was okay. I never watched the Green Lantern CG show. I didn't really care for it too much. I'm not big on the CG animation. No, me yeah. neither. Uh, but, like, Young Justice was adult. It had, like, a good, like, overarching story. It's great continuity to it. Uh, the jump from season one to two is pretty, is pretty, 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 uh, <laughs> shocking. like, shocking and, like, you want to know exactly what's happened there, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, the characters are handled really well, and it's surprisingly, like, robust with how many characters they put in it. Uh, I, I, will, I will dock some points. It's a fourth on my list here because of things like their version of Joker and somewhat their version of uh, Riddler. Okay, my number four. Yeah. Justice League Unlimited. Uh, that was a great series. Uh, Actually, preferred it to ju to Justice League. Uh, though I do love Justice League, I think Justice League Unlimited was just a little bit better. It took more chances, had a lot more heroes, uh, had some uh, more like intricate storylines, and I love the way that it got into a uh, Batman Beyond and stuff like that as well. Yeah, uh, just some really great stuff. It's one of my favorites, and that's my number four spot. And so I'll go number three next, and then you go number three. All right. All right. My number three is. The 67 Spider-Man. Rough actually Spider-Man. Oh. Still the best version of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. The closest to the comic book. I don't know. First season uh, was handled well, not just by Rough Bakshi, but by Stan Lee. Uh, it was very, very close. Actually, almost word for word for some of the really early comics. We got to use a lot of the characters for the first time. I got them done right. It had a jazzy score, something that hadn't been seen before. Mm -hmm. And uh, just really, the music was incredible for that. Uh, 
for that series. And he tried to do different stuff. He tried to give them different girlfriends. Showed them in college. Showed them trying for the baseball team and all this type of stuff. Yeah. And uh, went second or third season. They lost a lot of their budget, but they yeah. managed to keep quality of the show. Me and you are, like, totally off the mark. We should have chose the MTV series. Oh, of course. Uh, my third one is Justice League Unlimited. Because, uh, I mean, how could that not be on the list? It's an amazing show. Uh, Dad talked about all the reasons that it's really good. Um, but I think that uh, as much as Justice League was good, the expanded cast, like Green Arrow... Uh, the question. All the question episodes are amazing. Yeah. Uh, Terry Coombs, great guy. Uh, character, oh, freaking uh, the episode where they t- like one of the early episodes where they're all turned into little kids. That is one awesome. of my favorite episodes. It's awesome. It's an awesome episode. That's, that's him's favorite. Episode. Yeah, it's oh, it's really good. Uh, it does like benefit from episodes like Epilogue where there's the uh, Epilogue to Batman Beyond and stuff like that. It was just a really good show. Man. It was. Uh, the Solomon Grundy episode is heartbreaking. Uh, Almost made but, my top actually. Yeah. It's really good. There's two more, of course, that are ahead of this one. Well, me go second, and then you. Yeah, yeah number two. Young Justice. Young Justice. Young Justice. Young Justice is really good. I loved good. Young Justice, and what I really loved about it, which which I thought I wasn't gonna like at first, is there's a big jump from the first to the second season. It works really but well. But it really makes you want to know what happened in that in between spot, and it kind of drag out, letting you know. Unfortunately, you don't get to know everything. Because you would show if it canceled. wasn't for the show getting canceled, but which it was, was a, a big thing. Fantastic series. It was a big thing. That's a big thing. It's a problem with uh, the DC Nation block nowadays. I still think Just the first constantly... season was a little bit tighter than the second season, but yeah. I think the reasoning behind that is because, well, the second season was gearing up for what the third season was going to be, and it was supposed to be fantastic, but we'll never know. But yeah. it is one of the shows that should not have been canceled. No, I, we should like start a little thing yeah. to get that one started again. And that's not what you're going to no, number two. My number two. Number two is uh, eh, between the two. Obviously, I know which one the best one is. Number two is Batman Beyond. I Pretty love sure. Batman Beyond. Uh, I originally I was choosing between this one and uh, Teen Titans to put on the list because I was like, which one do I like more? I was like, Teen Titans is really good. Did do his contract well, but Batman Beyond did what uh, a lot of the other ones didn't. It's its own thing. Batman Beyond is great because it's a show that shouldn't be as good as it is. No, it's a show about Batman in the future, which they sounds did horrible. with uh, they did horrible. with like Spider Man. They technically did with Spider Man after Spider-Man the nineties series Man. got over. They did Unlimited. Yeah. That was awful. But I like them. okay, some things were good. The symbiote, the weird thing with the symbiotes are like weird, like bugs. I don't know. Um, I did like the good Goblin thing. That was okay, uh, but. It should be bad. If for like by all rights a new teenage hip Batman it should be horrible. For, should be up, but it's amazing. It works. It's perfect. It's in the comics now. It's a huge part of the comics. Terry McGinnis is generally accepted as part of canon. Yeah, a lot a of people want a Batman Beyond movie and I'm one of those people. The movie they actually did, Return of the Joker, was oh, probably was the best Batman movie oh, well, animated wise. Well, even now, though, we got like some good movies. Dark we got some. Movies. No, well, those are adaptions, and yeah, true. even and you know my feelings about Dark Knight Returns, anyways. But yeah. uh, like actual like original ones, it's that one, Mask of the Phantasm. Other ones. True. Okay, your number one pick. My number one. You go first. It's obviously Batman the Animated Series. Is that the same one? Yeah, I thought so. Um, Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> it's Batman just... the Animated Series. It's perfect. It captures everything that was Batman. It's a timeless series. It's set in a weird... It's the, the games do the same thing. The and it games. puts every other version of Batman to shame. Even Nothing. my favorite Tim Burton movie, or even some people's favorite yeah. Christopher Nolan movies, cannot even remotely touch the show or None the of sophistication it. of the writing that I was in the series. It's a combination of... The setting, which uh, the Arkham games, as I mentioned, get it get it right as well. You don't get a time. The like <clears> the, <throat> the, ca- the cars and the city is very like nineteen like forties like thirties cop like like darker like detective cops. But there's also like high tech stuff involved in yes, it as and well. And it's not Chicago it's, and Chris Renault. Yeah, it's yeah not no, it's not Chicago. Chicago. It's this dark, timeless city. And everything works. It's a timeless show, as I just mentioned, like four times now. Yeah. Uh, so our show, our top show, and our off the off the list show that almost made it were the same. Yeah, they're exactly. Uh, so uh, 
I think we can agree that Batman the Animated Series is the best animated rendition yeah. of any superhero. Yeah, no, it is. It's... Uh, you know, Justice League uh -huh. also almost made my list as well. Uh, there's another no great real, show. Like, there's not, there's not even many like weak episodes you can talk about for. Mm. Like I thought it'd be the Avengers too, but it didn't make the list. I'm not Which much. Which one? Of... Which Avengers? The Earth's Mightiest Heroes one yeah. that came out recently. Yeah, yeah. that was, was also thought on my list. But uh, you know, it didn't. It didn't. Make, honestly, at the no. end of the day, it didn't make it. It was I love not the theme Justice song. League, and it's, it wasn't as strong. I wasn't as big into the second season with the. This, actually, this the list they got here was actually a much stronger list. I gotta say, both our lists were good. We, uh, yeah. we crossed over a little bit. Uh, we both agreed on Young Justice and Batman made series, of course. We both agreed on Justice League Justice Unlimited. Unlimited. I had Superman Ruby Spears series and the Spider Man 67 series, which I still think is the best Spider Man series. I ever. really like Spectacular Spider Man. I think it portrays uh, the Venom saga really well. I think it portrays the Sinister Six really well, as well as uh, I like the designs for characters. Voice like acting Gollum in Spider Man 67 is just a little bit better. I don't know. Paul Souls. I think not. when people. Think Spider Man I think cartoon. Lot, they hear Spider. They hear that and, and Spider Man. They hear that right away. I know that uh, the second season, I believe, got on of Spectacular Spider Man got on with the uh, Hobgoblin and the like Gwen Stacy. And let's not uh, forget an all Canadian voice cast in the original Spider Man series. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's all Canadian. Canadian is good because we rock as voice people. I also thought about. I temporarily thought about like X Men, but I was like, nah. Me too. Know. But I was like. It's like I'm thinking Thomas about Spain. Jubilee and, yeah. <clears throat> and like the <laughs> Juggernaut episode. But our next our next one's got a special announcement that we uh, j just found out from Screen Factor. We're going to talk about it in the next video. So uh, thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah. And for yeah. now, for now, let's uh, tell me in the comment section down below what your top five uh, superheroes animated series are. And uh, this is Matt. Hey. This is me. And me right now. It's uh, time for tea. Mm, Doctor Zeus like. I am the knight.